Hello okay, everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, today we're making a uh, German chocolate cake and we've had lots and lots of requests for this. Now, uh, this is my disclaimer, lots of people make it a different way and they have different toppings and you know that are made with like um, evaporated milk and things like that and that's cool. This is ours, okay? So um, I'm going to, I've got my bowl and I've got everything ready. Uh, so I'm just going to put all my dry ingredients together. So I've got my flour, my cocoa, really lumpy cocoa, my baking soda and my baking powder I've chucked in together as well. And I'm just going to sieve that into the bowl. And then I'm going to add all my wet ingredients. So give me a minute to do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Eh? Right, I'm um, just giving it a quick stir so that it's all mixed up, chucking in my sugar, and then I'm going to add all my wet ingredients, super, super easy. Just make a bit of a hole in the middle, pull that out, butter, I've melted the butter, eggs, Vinegar in there, my milk, and a cup of water. Straight in the top. And I'm just going to beat it up. I'm just going to use my my electric hand beater. It's a lot easier. Okay, so. I mixed this up with my beater and that took about a minute just to mix it okay we don't want to over mix it and now I'm just going to chuck it into um, our aligned tin and you can put it into any shape tin you want remember also the smaller the tin the longer it's going to take to cook okay so chuck it in here the oven's already on at 180 degrees and I'm going to put it straight into the oven and then I'm we're going to start the topping so that we can get straight into it and that way the topping can cool down okay so let me chuck this in the oven and uh, whoops we'll see you soon eh? and here I've got my pot on a medium heat it's a nice heavy bottom pot we're all about heavy bottoms here um, I've got my butter my condensed milk and my look at that and you know what somebody sent this to us we're so grateful but i lost your blooming message and i'm so sorry i didn't even get to thank you for it but you know who you are and we love you that's really good stuff too by the way now i'm going to chuck in my eggs which are just egg yolks rather my egg yolks and my brown sugar a little bit of brown sugar and just mix and we're going to have to keep mixing this this is like a caramel so it's going to be a, you know we're going to wait until it thickens up so this will take about eight minutes thereabouts to um to, to thicken and cook and when it gets to the stage where it's nearly ready i'll show you what that looks like okay i did a typo i was going to blame my girls for that um in the recipe the original recipe i wrote that there was a quarter of a cup of salt in here in the topping there's not it's a quarter of a teaspoon if you put a quarter of a cup in, you're going to kill your family you're going to hate your cake and never eat your stuff again sorry yeah. should have just blamed my girls eh? it's so much easier okay keep it going it's almost ready um you can see how it's starting to coat the spoon down the bottom Okay, we don't want it to totally set, and you need to constantly stir this with your egg yolks in there. Otherwise, you're going to get scrambled eggs, and nobody wants scrambled eggs on their cake. So, this will probably take another minute, and then I'm going to add my coconut. Take it off the heat and add the coconut. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like when we do that, eh? In the meanwhile, the, cook's, uh, the cake's nearly cooked. Hmm. Now, I'm just going to add as much coconut as I need. Yeah, I said that... You know, it was about a cup and a half, and it is about that. There you go. That should do. Now I'm going to add a little bit more, so it's not too runny. Yeah. So that's a that's a. consistency. I'm going to add more coconut. 
If you don't like coconut, if, then you'll hate this cake. Let's try that out there. Sorry about that, Tracy. Right. That should do. Right. So that's a good consistency. I'm going to put it into a bowl and let it cool down. Okay. You can't. Don't don't be adding this onto a hot cake. Otherwise, it'll just make a big mess. Good tasty mess, but big mess. Okay. The cake's um, cooked. It took about 25 minutes to half an hour. Now, you know when your cake is cooked, when you can press down with your finger and it sponges back, or when you use a sharp knife and just check that it comes out clean. Okay, if it comes out still wet, then you need to cook it for a little bit longer. Right, this has been cooling for about maybe three quarters of an hour, so it's sort of hand hot, that'll do. And this has been in the fridge for about the same amount of time and look how much it's thickened up okay so there's look there's a number of ways that you can do this you can either slice it in half put this in the middle and then ice it with the normal chocolate icing Yum. or you can put it all on top or anything that you want to do okay just for today we're just gonna chuck it on top okay so um, let me get that done shoo 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 horrible fly you're not invited and um, then we'll show you what that looks like after, eh? Just like that it's done how cool is that so don't forget to recycle your tins you don't want this in the landfill it'll be here when your great great grandchildren are, are um, on the earth okay so recycle it it's that easy and it can be used again um, don't forget to continue to get things for your food storage cupboard five dollars a week is all that you need to to spend okay more if you can do it and um, with especially with food prices going up as they are, they are here in New Zealand, it's just ridiculous. So hope you guys are well. Um, stay safe, enjoy your caramelly, coconutty chocolate cake, and wasn't that easy? So easy. Okay, and we shall see you next week. Ka kite anō.